Good evening, I'm Mike Brooks. Here's a look at some of today's top stories from Two Works For You. Tulsa City Council met today to discuss the fate of the Black Lives Matter mural that's on Greenwood Avenue. No decision was made on the mural's fate, but there were lots of questions from safety concerns for drivers to road maintenance. The council decided to move the issue to the next committee meeting as they work to find some answers. That meeting will be on August 26th. Tulsa Public Schools announcing the 2020-2021 Support Employee of the Year. Marilyn Ezell was honored with the award today at Hawthorne Elementary School. She works at uh, Hawthorne there as the principal secretary. She's been at Hawthorne for seven years. She says one of her favorite parts is being able to invest positivity into the students. Congratulations to her. Tomorrow, our very own Karen Larson is moderating a virtual forum for several of the candidates for Tulsa mayor, giving you a chance to hear from them on the issues before you go out and vote. Mayor G.T. Bynum and candidates Craig Emel, Ken Reddick, Greg Robinson, and Ty Walker are all joining us. Two Works for You partnered with 918 Vote, League of Women Voters of Tulsa, and Tulsa's Young Professionals for this forum. You can watch Thursday evening from 530 to 7 on our website, kgrh.com, our Facebook page, our app, and our streaming device. We're just three days away from our fifth Clear the Shelters pet adoption event. We're teaming up with Tulsa's SPCA shelters and groups to find animals for ever homes during the pandemic. The Clear the Shelters pet adoption event is Saturday, August 22nd. It's happening at Dave's RV. Last year, we helped 280 pets find forever homes in Tulsa County. We posted Clear the Shelters information and how you can adopt on our website, kgrh.com. Let's take a look at your forecast right now. A couple of days in the 80s, and it's back to uh, almost normal temperatures. One warm weekend, and then temperatures in the 90s for the next work week. That is a look at some of the stories making headlines today. Of course, stay with Two Works for You for updates throughout the day. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again very, very soon.